You might think it's uh, kind of cruel for him to say these things, but is he making a point? We are dealing with Robert Durst. We know a lot of his backstory, maybe more than the jury. Is he making a point, Matthew? Absolutely. I mean, he's he's being insensitive about it, but he's 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 bringing a point home, which is this is a person who doesn't want to be here, and he's willing to lie to be able to achieve that. He's willing to. He's even you know he's even been put on video saying I'm going to use COVID as a way to get a new jury um, and 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 fake dementia, fake some of his um, you know illnesses. I, I I do I do believe Robert Durst, and I do feel for him here. You know, it is a UTI. He does have, you know, bladder cancer. It's it's not it's not something that um, you know I, I would take lightly um, or dismiss. Now, um, the issue is he's he's incarcerated and possibly needs to be transported to a hospital uh, that possibly could accommodate for his kind of illnesses. And it seems like there's an expert who's provided a report um, about you know uh, the situation that he is when he's in confinement. And so all of these things play a relevant factor as to the timeline of uh, this trial. But uh, from my understanding, they, they have a lot of time set aside for this trial, um, and they're going to be able to, 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 to accommodate for it. Further delay may really, really hurt that timeline. So uh, th there's a lot of competing interests here. Sure. Um, and I can understand why both sides are pouncing. Now, Matthew, about a little over a minute here. The idea of what the jury's seeing, they're seeing him in the jail clothes, they're seeing him in the jail wheelchair, they're seeing him really sick. Now this bag, they're covering him up with a blanket. What is the jury thinking about this? Yeah, absolutely. This is not the same man that um, a lot of the evidence here shows. He's much more elderly. Um, he's in a much different stage in life. He's not around the same people. He's confined. Um, and um, he, this is the byproduct of the lifestyle that you know he's led all these years. And so ultimately, uh, the jury is taking all of that into account. Is it going to sympathize for him um, and also, uh, you know, ultimately maybe get him yet another acquittal? Possibly. Um, uh, 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 could the jury see past all the issues, um, right. all, all the various uh, you know trials here, and be able to get a conviction? It's possible. Uh, you know, yeah. it's so interesting, Jesse. It, it, it really is the trial of the year. And we are watching it all together and seeing the surprises, the twists, the turns. We're following it together. Matthew Barhoma, I appreciate you taking the time, waking up early to see what's happening and literally right by the courthouse. So maybe he'll see something that we don't see yet. <laughs> he'll be our reporter on the ground. Uh, I, I'm going to be signing off. Linda Kenny Bottom is up next here on the network. So stay with us. We'll be right back right after this. See you soon.